It's just Bruce, he don't bite. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my shop. I'm um, Bruce, as you know. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Oculus Quest. I have an Oculus Quest, as I've been doing the past few videos. Uh, Gen Xer, Gen Xer's point of view, so to speak. But I've been playing it, I've really been enjoying it. I got the original Oculus Quest used because I wanted to see if I liked it. I wasn't going to spend $400 on, an, on a Quest 2 unless I really liked playing it. So I got the Quest 1 off eBay. Uh, for less than half the price and I've been playing I'm having a blast so yes I am gonna get a quest too and I'll probably do a few videos on that today I want to talk about cleaning it because uh, after a while using it so you sweat in it you mess up the lenses uh, it can go blurry on you um, so we're gonna talk about all that today uh, first thing we're gonna talk about is how to clean it you might say hey Bruce my quest it's all blurry it's it's the lens has got gunk on them can I just hit it with some Windex and spray it off no don't do that uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube telling you how to do it uh, from people that uh, some know what they're doing some don't know what they're doing never ever use water you want to use something that's going to evaporate quickly they say to use uh, isopropyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol don't use it no it leaves a film you want to be very careful what chemical you put on your lenses uh, today Okay, I used to be an optician, so I used to make glasses, clean glasses. Uh, I know a lot about glasses, and uh, same with the uh, uh, the hmm, still having problems talking after 54 years. The Oculus Quest lenses are essentially glasses lenses, except they're a little bit different. If you look, you can see there's a round pattern. They go circular out. Take a look at them; you'll see. Um, there's a special way you have to clean them and uh, okay I'm gonna make myself small and I'm gonna show you how to clean it first so let's do that so here's my oculus quest turned upside down with the lenses facing off um, if, let's do a deep cleaning on it I've already I've already cleaned this so we're just gonna go over it again um, first just you this cushion pops right off and just take care there's little tabs right here if you can see where my thingies are and that should pull right out there's one there's one over here and it pops out and take this piece and set it aside that's your cushion that goes on your face so now we have the whole thing exposed now uh, if it's not too too dirty you don't have to worry about anything get yourself one of these uh, lint free microfiber cloths you can get these at any drugstore with glass care glasses care lens cleaners you know whatever it's a uh, very fine microfiber material it doesn't leave any lint behind and what you're gonna do is start in the center like I am here and just gently don't push down hard just gently go around the edges like that till you get to the outside and we're gonna do the same on the other side now this is just like a daily thing you would do all right that's the simple way now let's say you're a little more dirtier and you know you do that but you still see smudges from makeup or whatever funk is on your face then you want to get a, a can of compressed air or something to blow the dust off before you do what I just did uh, in my case I'm a toy guy so I've got a lot of tools laying around I've got a blower motor so I'm just gonna blow that out don't blow directly down on your lenses you want to blow across your lenses and the rest of it too you can blow directly down on the black parts but not on the glass just blow across that'll blow your dust off and then you won't scratch them whenever you go to clean it so we're gonna do that real quick so I'm blowing across the lenses not directly on them now if you don't have one of these that's okay get yourself a can of compressed air from the store or whatever in any office supply store is gonna have it but always blow across the lenses especially if you're using a can of compressed air because sometimes it'll blow a little bit of liquid out there you don't want to get that liquid on your lenses it'll make a film and make it look like crap now like I was saying go across the lenses with the air not directly into them especially if you're using this can air I can't stress that enough so anyway um what's next so okay we've blown it off and once again you can hit it with the microfiber uh, rag if you want to if it's not and then you can see like with this lighting I can see like I said I just did these before I did this video so I'm just basically going over if there's still little smudges and stuff on there you might think well what can I do to get that off 
uh, your instinct would be to use window cleaner. Uh, no, don't, sorry, Gracie. Don't use window cleaner, don't use water, don't use isopropyl rubbing alcohol. That's what seems to be what they're telling you to use. Don't do it, um, I know. And oh, you might be wondering, oh, aren't you a chef? And I said I was an optician. Yes, I am a chef, but I did have a couple years where I worked for an optician and became an optician who made glasses and learned this stuff. Being bipolar, I learned a lot of stuff in my lifetime. All right, back to what we're talking about. This is just a regular napkin, not a cheap dollar store napkin. It's one of the napkins that kind of feel like a, like a cloth material. Um, you need something similar to this. It could be uh, a very expensive paper towel, not the dollar store stuff, because that stuff won't work. It'll leave lint all over you. Um, so, and so I don't even know what brand this is. I'm not going to plug them because I don't care. Um, what we're going to do is it has to be absorbent, and you need two of them. This Here's one, and here's a dry. So basically, basically we're going to have a damp one and a dry one. So I'm going to fold this and just make a little pad out of it, like this. Just make a little pad out of it. And I, my, I am going to put a cleaner on there. The cleaner I'm using is this glass cleaner, which this is all over the place. It's mirrorized. Okay. Well, it's called Sprayway, and I see it all over the place around here. It's really good. Uh, it's ammonia-free. You don't want to use ammonia, and it's streakless. It also evaporates really quickly. So it's perfect for what we're going to do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. I'm going to shake it. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my on my pad just just a titch just a little bit and I'm gonna squeeze my pad like this to let it let it uh, absorb into it and the wet part that I just made is made a little area there I'm gonna go and make very light circles on my lenses just like this and just like that until the smudges disappear now I didn't have any smudges today on this so, hold on to your wet rag. We're just going to set that aside. We're going to use that later. And we're going to take our dry rag. Same thing. Make a little pad with the dry one. And repeat our circles until our smudges disappear. Now, I found mine was really, really dirty when I did this the first time. And this worked like a charm. I use it on my regular glasses. I'm using it on this. And it just, it works great. And like I said, I wish I should have done the video when these were dirty so you could see, but right now they're crystal clear and they were pretty bad. Um, they, like I said, I bought this used. It was pretty dirty when I got it, but I restore toys. That's what I do. So then you're going to turn it over. Now, not only is your lenses important, but these cameras right here are important too, which is why I told you to hang on to your wet one. So we're going to find out. I can, I can feel right here where I sprayed it. It's just damp. It's not saturated. It's just damp. We're going to do the same thing on these little lenses here. One, two, three, and four. This works on the Oculus Quest 2 also. And then I'm taking my dry rag and I'm just going to gently clean them off. And now my lenses are nice and clean and I'll be able to see very clear through my Oculus. Um, that's pretty much all there is to cleaning the lenses. Now, you can go ahead and put it back together now if you want to, and go ahead and do some gaming, have some fun, or you can go a step further. Here's the, the mask that I took out of it. Um, every Oculus has one. Still going to take my damp cloth. I'm just going to wipe the inside. Now, you don't have to worry about scraping or scratching this. This is just a piece. You don't want to break it, of course. But while I got it apart, why not, why not clean it? Here, set this aside. While I have it apart, you know, why not clean it? It's just like I said, this is just very damp not wet go across to everything you know do a little bit of the foam do not saturate your foam it'll take forever to dry and that's it I mean just just clean it and there you go now that's how you clean it I put this back together and go ahead and play yay okay that's great and before I put it back together though we're gonna talk about blurriness sometimes people have said especially people with glasses they say oh it's blurry you know is it supposed to be blurry no it's not supposed to be blurry but the problem with wearing glasses is fitting them in there for, for one thing the size is furnace okay 
Now we'll talk about blurriness. You might think, well, I'm playing my game and it, it's just not right. It's, it's blurry sometimes, it's clear sometimes, but then it gets blurry. That could be a number of things. Um, it's not the outside cameras that I showed you that we just cleaned. It is your lenses. Uh, they either need clean, like I just showed you how to do, or uh, you might have to adjust what's called your PD, your pupil distance. And there's, on the Oculus One, there is a lever right here and it goes back and forth, and I'll show you a number on the screen. Mine happens to be 67. Uh, and if you don't know what your PD is, uh, there's two ways to find out. You can look, if you have an old, if you have your glasses prescription on hand, it's one of the numbers on your prescription, I believe, I believe, I think it's the last one, it's been a while. Uh, it'll say PD, and like mine says 67. If you don't know what yours is, there's, well, okay, there's three ways then. If you don't, if you, if you either have your glasses prescription, and the number's right on there, that's what you'd use. If you don't have your glasses prescription, then uh, you can have a friend take a tape measure with millimeters on it, this is in millimeters, and go from the center of one pupil to the center of another one. Just like where my fingers are, they'd hold up a ruler and they'd measure that, and that would give you a better idea what your PD is. And then you would use that number. Uh, the, th the third way is just to put it on and mess with it until you're more com most comfortable with where the lenses are. And it's not gonna be such a big deal on someone who doesn't wear glasses, but someone that does wear glasses, it is kind of a big deal. Um, also, if, let's say, like my, my PD is 67. I actually, because I wear bifocals, I actually set mine to lower. So my, I'll set my, my, my PD is actually realistically 67. I will set that to 65, which is what they do when they give you bifocals. It helps me. So you got a two point uh, guessing game right there. Or you can just grab it and go back and forth until you're comfortable. That's how that works. Another thing is when you get your Oculus uh, one or two, they give you this little piece here. And everybody thinks this little piece might be a, an extra one of these, but it's not. This is actually for, it's a, called a glasses spacer. And when you put that in there, It'll give you a little more room for your glasses to fit and not rub on the Oculus lenses. Now, not everybody needs this. I don't need it. Uh, my, I guess because, I don't know, I got a square head. Who knows? But my glasses don't actually hit the Oculus glasses. But some people do. Uh, my wife does. Because uh, she got a little tiny nose, maybe. I don't know. She's probably going to get mad because I said that. She gets mad at me for everything. But this can help you, too. The problem is when you do use this and it goes over your face, it's actually pushing the Oculus out a little bit further from your face so that doesn't happen when you do that you're losing some of your field of vision so whereas like without it your peripheral vision is right here with it it might be this far so it's something to think about <clears throat> it's more of a comfort thing so um yeah that's about it so that's about it uh, that's about it on the uh, cleaning and uh maintaining your oculus as far as keeping it clean to get the best uh best visual out of it um, I hope that helped. I know I watched a few other people do the same video, but I'll tell you what, man, them younger people, they talk so fast. Uh, you know, slow down, guys. Slow down and explain it to the best of your ability. You don't have to talk really, 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 really fast. Subscribe, 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 subscribe on Patreon. Blah, blah. No one is really listening to you, dude. At least not people like me with expendable income that probably would give you some money if you didn't talk like you're in a hurry and you got to take a big poop. I'm just saying. Anyway, coming up soon, uh, I'll do some more videos about me playing Oculus because I have been told it's funny an old guy like me playing Oculus. And I know the fun and Gen Xers, when you do play it, uh, you you will look ridiculous. You can't get you can't get away from it. It is what it is. Another text message. Let me see what they want and then we'll do the outro. So that's my stupid video for the night, how to clean your Oculus, and uh, like I said, Gen Xers, we didn't have this, we have it now. So if, if you're old like me and you want one, get it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So anyway, like I said, coming up, I'm going to do some more, uh, I guess, gameplay videos now that I know how to do it. Um, I think the last one I did was that uh, drunken bar fight. Uh, my wife and I played multiplayer last night, and it was hysterical. 
It was hysterical. So you might want to try that. I know it's an older game. All these games are older, but I got the old stuff. It's brand new to me. So if it's new to me, hey, I'm having fun. And I will be getting an Oculus too eventually. But for right now, I'm just seeing what this one has to offer. Uh, any questions, comments, please leave, uh, leave them down in the comments. Da, 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 da. Like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you want my next video to be about. Um, I'm open for suggestions. Whether it's about Oculus, cooking, whatever. I'm doing all this stuff. And I do it for the fun of it. So a like is very well appreciated. All right, I'm Bruce. I'll see you next time. Mr. Bruce is being weird again. Mm -hmm. All right, then.